Hi, how are you? So today I thought we would do a little bit of path working and we've got a few days of Beltane energies left in the Northern Hemisphere and Samhain energies left in the Southern Hemisphere. And we're just about to move into solstice energies. But traditionally at Samhain, but also sometimes at Beltane, people walk labyrinth. So I thought perhaps we could do this in our mind. We can do it for a couple of reasons. We can do it to cast things out on the way to the middle. And there are seven turns in this. We could do it to cleanse the seven chakras. And then when we get to the middle, we would think of what we would want to bring in to our lives on the way out. So that is two ways. The third way is if there is problem solving for you to do. You know, sometimes walking a path is sometimes a good way to sort through our thoughts and our emotions. So I'd like you now just to settle yourself down and I want you just to imagine that we are at a place in England of many standing stones and it's a place in Middle England, I'd call it. <laughs> and there is some standing stones called the Roll Rites. And a very beautiful stone circle that is nice and small enough for us to walk around. Many different shapes of stones, some of them have holes in, but they're kind of waist high, no more than shoulder high. So I thought that today we could imagine that we are, are there. And you can look up the place called the Roll Rites. There are many other little standing stones there, the groups of the knights. And I'd like you just to imagine that we are within a ring of stones to start with. And just south of this ring of stones is actually a labyrinth looking a bit like this in the ground and I want you now just to look at the trees around and there is the elders the witch's tree which at the moment is in full flower beautiful creamy white flowers with a gentle fragrance that quite often we would put into champagne. And I'm just going to find the tree now. It is often called the witch's tree. A sambucus. Doesn't really show you the flowers. Maybe I should have picked some today. But also these wonderful 
creamy white flowers on the witch's tree will change into these deep purple berries that we make a cordial out of. And it is said if you ever chop these down, woe betide you. So I'd like you just to imagine looking at this beautiful elder, this Samburkas Doruish. We're just going to ground this in. And I know that there are these trees around because I have been to the roll rites. And just cast your eyes down towards the earth. And when your eyes touch the earth, you can feel those roots growing out of you and growing to merge with the trees around this circle. And there is a road next to this circle and on the other side of the road there is a lone stone that I think they call the king and then there's a couple of fallen down stones off to this side just in a little glade of trees and I think those are called the king's knights and it is often said that there is a witch under this tree guarding the roll rites so I'm just going to use these little standing stones we have and I'm going to shake them around you I'm going to shake out the day any worries, any anxiety, any pain, any anguish, any stress. And then I'd like you to take in a breath of air deep down into your stomach. And then breathe out any physical issues. And then I'd like you to take another breath in from the air above you and breathe out any anxiety. And then take a breath in from the waters of the rivers that run near this stone circle and breathe out any upset and then take a breath in from the sun above you the beats down take that breath all the way down to your stomach and breathe out any anger towards it And sigh out. And then I'd like you now just to head around into this stone circle through some of the stones. And we're just gonna we're just gonna walk around it sunwise looking at these little standing stones this is that Preselli blue stone that the Stonehenge inner circle is made out of very strong, a bit like Moldavite. I have a pendant that I can only wear for a, a few hours at a time or I get a very big headache from it. I'm going to just use this affame, also cut from the Preselli Bluestone. 
and I want you just to look through the eye of it. We're just going to clear around the edges of your aura. Using it a bit like a hagstone. Cleansing, clearing, siphoning off. Some of that stress and anguish, fidgetiness, restlessness rather, that would be the word. And then we're going to start walking. And as we're moving slowly through the labyrinth, I'd like you to start thinking in your head or saying out loud what it is you want to get rid of. It can be as big or as little as you like. First turn. But remember, you can't just passively say I want to remove it and just hope for the best. You might have to make changes to your life, to your mindset. Second turn to your heart. third turn. Maybe it's something like tidying out your loft, getting rid of all the junk that we've accumulated. Next turn. It might be conditioning, learnt behaviour. Next turn. And last turn, and now you are at the middle. So we're just going to recalibrate, just cutting the rest of anything out of the aura. Taking a couple of deep breaths in. And I want you to stand like a star for a minute, just balancing, balancing acacia, air, water, fire, and earth. Okay. And now, with purpose, and I'm going to point the aflame towards you. We're going to walk out and you're going to list what you would like to replace those spaces with. First turn. Second turn. Walking steadily, stating your wishes. Stating them with care. And stating for your highest good and with harm to none. Feeling your feet fall steadily as you journey towards your goals. And the last 
last walking statement. Don't worry if you've said all you need to. Just follow your path. And then just turn to face the center. And we're going to put a pyramid of apophyllite there. just so to stop any confusion and to send that bright light out. And then you can head back to your elder, your Rish tree. And we draw this magical master symbol of Celtic Reiki in to you to help with that magical effect of walking the labyrinth will bring. So mote it be, and so it is. So now we're just going to leave this space and know that you can come and do this anytime you like and we'll be using the labyrinth a few more times in our healings for your higher good and harm to none.